Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Katie, I'm a mixed media sketchbook artist, and today I'm going to be showing the art supplies I'm taking with me on holiday. So I have had a few comments asking what I would take with me if I was going away, and it's good timing because I'm about to head to Japan for my honeymoon. Now I don't know how much time I'll have to create when I'm out there, whether I'll be too busy or too tired from the sightseeing, but I would like to have the option. So I'm going to be showing you what I'm taking with me in terms of sketchbook and art supplies for creating when I am away. This is probably going to be a rambly video because I have no idea. This is going to be a chance for me to look through the art supplies and really talk you through how I narrow it down because I know I don't want to take everything and it is difficult to decide. I'm usually an overpacker, but hopefully this shows you my process of working out what I'm going to be using. I'm absolutely going to be buying stuff when I'm out there too. So keep your eyes on my channel for a future art supply haul as well. I haven't even packed my clothes yet, art supplies are my main priority, but I hope you find this useful if you are going on your own trip in terms of narrowing things down and deciding what to take. So without further ado, let's get into art supply packing for Japan. Okay, so we're going to start with sketchbooks. I am just going to take the one sketchbook, I've just got a few here just to talk through my reasoning. And I don't know what I'm going to pack yet, so this is definitely going to be a think through with me as I decide, because I kind of know what I don't want to take, so we're going to start with that because I find it easier to narrow down. With so many art supplies it can be really overwhelming and it can be really easy to want to take everything and I don't want to take all of my supplies with me. So this is my Royal Talents, this is my everyday carry, this one is um, probably halfway just halfway in this sketchbook and this would be my usual one that I take with me but it's actually quite heavy. I did consider taking this one but this one feels quite small. I really like this for grabbing out your bag if you are on a trip but for me it just feels too small and I have been working a little bit bigger lately so even this one feels a little bit smaller than I want. And that leaves me with some other options so this one is a Sea White of Brighton. Now this one is super cheap, I bought this a few years ago, this is this was £1.35 and I actually did fill it, so last time I went to Japan was in 2020, just before the world shut down, and I started filling out a sort of visual diary of that trip, and sadly I didn't um, continue. It took a really long time and I absolutely love how it looked, you can see I was doing Ink sketch is very different to how I would do it now in terms of the style because this is similar in terms of I want to have journaling in here and I do want to like draw what I'm doing but it's going to be a lot looser. This is a lot tighter than I'd want, it's a lot more detail oriented and because I want to fit quite a lot into this trip I just don't think I'll have time and clearly I don't do it when I come back. It just feels like too big of a task. So as much as I love this um, I didn't finish it and it means that there's quite a lot of empty space in this book so although I've got a couple of pages here at the front that are filled I think I want to continue filling it now with my honeymoon trip so Japan 2024 just following on from 2020 I don't think I'm going to tear these out I might just keep them in there but it I've got this whole sketchbook and this is really lightweight it's a nice size it's a5 so 148 by 210 millimeters, and Sea White of Brighton paper is really good. This does say extra wet strength, so that will be handy depending on what I use on it. My other option is this one. This is a Hannah Mueller sketchbook. Um, again, it's A5. I picked this up when I was in Vienna, and I did take it with me to Prague. Um, again, because it was lightweight. I actually only did one drawing when I was in Prague, which was this one. Um, and again, it's a completely empty sketchbook. This one is slightly textured, you can also see it's off-white, so compared to the Sea White of Brighton one, you can see this one's ivory toned. And it's a toss-up between those, but I think I prefer the smoother paper, especially if I'm using a lot of dry media. So I'm pretty certain I'm going to take this. Very lightweight, very easy to pop in my bag when we do go out and about. And like I say, I don't know how much art I'm going to create when I'm there, so I don't want to take everything with me, lug it around when I'm not going to use it. So a lightweight sketchbook and my pencil roll is what I'm planning. So here is my pencil roll. This is empty at the moment, so we're going to fill it and pick out the colours together. As you can see, it's a little bit grubby from near colours and paint, um, but this is what I take with me. 
it folds down and I've got a little zip pouch here and then I roll it up like this and tie it off. I get some questions about where I've got this from but this is actually homemade. I made this myself um, so I can't link it for you. Oh there's a couple of new colours left in here, let's take those out. So I am planning on filling this with coloured pencils, some brush pens and neo colours. Um, in terms of wet media, like I'm planning on buying some of these Kurotaki watercolours when I'm out there to replace some of these and buy some new colours, but I'm not taking it with me. It's just too much of a hassle to take that out and about. And the same with gouache tubes and also my gouache palette that I made recently. I'll link that up in the corner. I'm not taking any of that with me. I'm not taking any tubes of paint because again, I don't want to take loads of stuff and make a mess. I don't want to have to take my palette. What I am debating taking is this. So this is the Derwent Inktense paint pan set. Let's open this up. And this is really small, which is why I'm thinking I will take it. Just gives me a bit more options if I do want to do some color. So I think I will take this just because it's nice and easy to carry. It's got a brush in here, but I think I'm going to take a couple more. So I've got these. I won't take all of these, but I definitely want to take some larger ones. So that's quite a good one. I think I'll take that one and maybe I'll take an extra large too. So I'll empty these when I do pop them in my suitcase and fill them back up with water when I'm at the hotel. But it's just handy to have water brushes then I don't have to worry about taking a water bottle and a little pot to wash in. So I'm going to keep that in there. I think I will take this. I just think it will be helpful. I'll have to clean this off but I think to add some extra colour because I really like the idea of having sort of paint to use but without having to take my tubes and worry about my gouache um, palette like spreading. So I think I will take this and actually it will fit back here quite nicely. So let's pop that in there. I think I've convinced myself. It's not super heavy either and I think it will fit nicely. So I'll also take these brushes. I tend to decide what I'm taking and then I'm usually a chronic overpacker and so sometimes I'll be like oh I'll just take this and add this in. I'm going to try not to do that this year. I'm going to try and just take what I'm doing today rather than panic last minute and add in a whole handful of pencils. But in terms of brush pens, so I've got my Tombows here. I do store them like downwards um, just for better flow um, and I've also got my pouch of eco lines. Now there are way too many in here and I'm absolutely not planning on taking all of these but I do want to take a couple of colours because again they're really quick to lay down so I'll be mixing the brands. So I've also got this Faber-Castell Albrecht Dura watercolour marker in earth green. I want to take that because that's my favourite green and I also want to take some softer colours. Um, so I think I will take a grey and again, I think this will just be handy to have. I might not be able to mix these softer colours in that paint pan set, so I think it will be handy. So let's also pick some of my Tombows. So I'm kind of thinking about what colours will be out there. I know that there will be some nice blue sky, so I want to take a light blue and maybe another neutral. There will also be like Tory gates, so I definitely know I'll want a pop of red, which I'm going to get from a coloured pencil. But it's really helpful to like look at the landscape if you're going on holiday, if you're going away, to look at the landscape you're going to and then build your colour palette from there. So at the moment I've got some neutrals for like buildings, I've got a couple of greens and then I've got a couple of blues. This one will be sky blue. I really like this shade, which is the 553 for shadows. Uh, this is the 451. It's quite a cool toned blue, but I think that will be useful. Um, I'll just go through the other shades as well. So I've got 992. This will be good for trees. It's just another dark and neutral. And the 126, so a lighter green. This is the earth green, like I said. And then the two eco lines, I've got a 374 and 704. So I think that's it in terms of brush pens. Like I said, I do have this one tucked in the back if I want to add other colours, but I think this will be really handy if I'm out and about. And I think this covers quite a lot if I wanted to draw in the parks um, because I will supplement it with coloured pencils. So I'm going to pop my brush pens back here. 
And now let's pop in our colored pencils. So I have my little mug of luminant here. Again, I'm not going to take all of these. I'm going to try and work out what I'll use. There will be quite a lot of greenery. So I want to take a dark green. I just bought some new ones so they're full length because my other green looks like this and I want to be able to not worry <laughs> about um, just taking tiny nubs and losing them. So I'm also going to take my favorite pencil sharpener. This is the Derwent Pastel and Charcoal pencil sharpener. I can sharpen luminances and also near colors in here. So I'm going to pop that in my little zip pouch back there. So definitely a dark green and probably a mid green as well and a light green. I know that I'm going to use a lot of greens. So let's take that. We're planning on doing a hike whilst we're in Kyoto. So I'm hoping to be able to do some drawing in the forest up the mountain. Let's see, I really like pops of pink. I don't know if I'll see much pink. Oh, actually I will because it's like Sakura season. So that will be helpful. Um, I also want a dark brown. I'm going to take a Derwent drawing for that one. Uh, let's see, I want a nice light. Oh, that's called Solway Blue, but it's like a light gray. I do want to take a light blue again for the skies. I think I'm going to grab a few out and then I can like cull it a little bit more. So definitely want a dark indigo. That's one of my most used colors. And like, I'm not used to generally working on a limited color palette. So I'm just going to grab it out and then I can cull it if I want to. This is a really nice pop of color. Oh, here's my red. I definitely want to take that. I think that will be good for the Tory gates. I'll take a nice neutral and maybe a softer pink. That might be it. Have I got a dark brown? Yes. And a gray, a darker gray. Maybe I'll take that one instead. And a yellow. Okay, so I think that's not bad considering how many I have. It's really difficult to know. We are also going to Hiroshima and planning to go to Miyajima Island. So maybe a sleek sort of blue. This is a Payne's gray. I'm just thinking for like the sea, but I think this uh, malachite green is going to be too turquoise. Uh, let's do that for now. So there's quite a few here. There are some tones which I know will be useful for greenery and things. And then I've also got my pops of color. I think I'll get a lot of use out of the red, which is permanent red 061. I, mostly for the Tory gates. There's going to be a lot of temples and things and for the details on that maybe I'll need to swap this one out for a darker tone. So I'm just trying to think what I'll use them for. Let's do that. So I've got some neutrals and like that ranges from a light mid and dark shade. Generally that's how I'll pick them instead of doing loads of colors in between. If I've got a light mid and dark shade generally it'll be okay. I've also got a gray a light and a dark gray there so I've skipped the mid. I've got my uh, light mid and dark blue so that will be helpful and this one is just nice for pops of color. I don't know how much I'll use it but I think I want to take it with me. Dark brown for like tree trunks, pop of pink again for the sakura. I've also got this raw sienna which I think will just be handy to have as like a range. So like looking at these it's a really nice range of colors kind of like a rainbow but I feel like I'll get use out of these and then I've got my two for drawing on the water and then my red. So I think that's it. I'm happy with those colors. I don't think there's anything missing. Oh maybe a white. Maybe I'll take my white. Um, so that's the Chinese white drawing, derwent drawing pencil which is my favorite white. So that doesn't feel like too many. I could cull it down more. I could take maybe this one out, but I'm going to stick with it. Let's see how they all fit. Sometimes I do double up in here as well. Um, that just feels like a good amount of colors. So I don't think I'll be missing anything, but I'm also not limiting myself. I'm not very good at that. Okay. So those are all of my pencils and now let's do near colors. So I've got my big tin here. Now these aren't the original colors that were in here. I've added my own. So I've built up my collection throughout the years and taken out some of the brighter colors and put all my most used in here. So I'm going to pick from these ones. I definitely want to take my uh, sky blue. Um, so like my usual ones that I take would be the salmon pink. 
but I'm actually going to take that from my um, restock I did the other week. Again, I'll link that up in the cards. So I want to take a fresh one of those and a fresh light grey. I won't take the apricot. Um, I think I will take a red. So these are the Neo Color 2, so they are water soluble. If I wanted more of the red than that one red pencil can give me, I can always scribble this and wet it to use as paint. And also there is a red in here as well, so that should be fine. So that's very rare for me, but I think I'll get some use out of it. I'll take my lemon yellow. That's a really nice highlight color. My usual light olive and olive. I've got my light blue. That's a nice beigey. So this is called beige. It's like a warm gray. And I might stop there. Maybe I'll take this Van Dyke brown as well. But I don't want to take loads. I think that's quite a good range. Maybe I'll pop in this. Oh, this one's flesh. Okay, I think that's it. I don't think I'll get much use out of these. And like, I am buying stuff when I'm out there. So like I said, I do plan on buying some Kurotaki paint and I might end up using that. But for what I'm taking, I feel like this is a good amount. And I'll also take a little white. So I have this like triangle pocket here. So the shorter ones go in the smaller. Um, but most of these are full length because I don't want to like lose them. So I've got a few short ones, but generally these are a good size um, to pop in here. And then I think that's everything. Uh, oh, so in terms of like acrylic paint markers and things, I'm not planning on taking any that I've made up myself, but I am taking these two. So these are my, probably my most used. I, this is definitely my favorite one. This is the beige Posca marker in the eight mil chisel shaped tip. Um, so this is just really helpful for laying down big blocks of color. And this one, I used it from when I was drawing some scenes from Prague, which I did when I was home. And that was really good for night scenes. And I think I would like to try doing night scenes when I'm there. We'll see. Um, but either way, I think these will be helpful to have. And I've got space, so let's pop that in there. Hopefully that's not too big. Let's move it over there, actually. This is getting a little bit chunky. Let's pop that in the middle one. I've got my sharpener. I'm also going to take uh, little clips. So just these ones. I also have these. I'm planning on getting a couple of more of these when I'm out there because they're really, really cheap out there. So I think I'll leave that for now and just take these two. This is just handy when you are doing plein air just to keep your pages together. And that's everything. So I've got my pencil roll. Let's see how this feels. It's probably going to be quite heavy. But I'm not taking um, a rubber or anything. This should be everything. And we'll roll that up. I'm just going to tie it off as well. I mean, I haven't rolled it very neat and it is quite chunky. It's not super heavy, but it will take up quite a lot of space in my bag. Ah, uh, I don't know whether to take that intense pan set. But this and then this to take out with me, I don't think it's too bad. I will have a backpack on, so I feel like this will be okay in the bottom of it, and then just my sketchbook. So really, I think I'm doing well, especially for me. So that's what I've got. And I'm pretty sure I've got everything that I will want and need. I don't think there'll be something that I feel like I'm missing. So I'm quite happy with that for a two week holiday. I feel like that's going to be fine. Um, I will just mention journals. Um, so I am planning on taking this one with me. So this is my traveler's notebook. I bought this in New York. Um, this is what I'm going to journal in. So I'm planning on doing notes and ephemera in here. So this is what my sister bought me back last year when she went to Japan. So I'm planning on filling this with the ephemera and gluing that in. I'm taking this sticker release insert which I've cut up with some pet tape samples and I'm obviously going to be buying a lot of stickers when I'm out there as well. Um, but there will be like probably some doodles in here as well. It's going to be different, difficult to know what I'll have time for, but I'll just be taking this and that will end up looking like this one, which is from the 2020 trip. And this is just filled with like journaling from that holiday. And I'm planning on doing something similar in this one, but whilst I'm out there. I think I am overestimating how much time I'll have and like energy wise, I think I'm going to just be exhausted by the end of the day. Maybe in the hotel, I won't end up doing any art or journaling, but we'll see how we go. I'd rather have the option. 
I hope that you enjoyed watching and seeing my thought process on what to take. I'm pretty pleased to take this for a two week trip. I think that will be plenty. I'm still debating about that Intense Pan set. I might take that out because it is a little bit bulky. But other than that, I'm really happy with my selection. I've got quite a good amount of dry media there and a good range of colours. Hopefully my next video will be a Japan art haul. I am planning on buying some art supplies when I'm out there and I'm really looking forward to sharing those with you and also showing you all of the art that I made. A huge thank you for watching. I hope you have a creative week ahead and I will see you in my next YouTube video. See you later.